Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrasa. In this video lecture, I am going to give the answer of question number 2 of ETABS quiz series. So the question was on the design override type. So if you if I just go to design and concrete frame design, let me select the frame first. Already I have designed it, but still let me show you. If I select the all the frame members and if I go to design, concrete frame design and design view revise overrides. Here you can see we have a framing type and we have three options here: ductile, ordinary, and no sway or non-sway. Okay. So if I suppose first i am selecting ductile okay so what will happen if i select ductile ordinary or no sway so this was the question so in this example i am selecting ductile and clicking on okay and then i am performing the design okay so what is going to happen now there will be two parts so first it will be of the design how design methodology it will be uh, following so basically when we select framing type when we select framing type as ductile so it will use the mother design code of is 456 2000 and along with this additional as we have selected the ductile a framing type so the ductile design criteria will be adopted from is 13920 the latest version suppose 2016 okay so the design will be performed using this the using the provisions of these two codes one is the general concrete design code another one is the ductile design criteria okay so these two will be followed when we are selecting the framing type as ductile now one more parameter which will be affected by the selection of this framing type is nothing but the effective length factor for column so effective length factor okay this effective length factor so this is we denote by k so this is used to find out the effective length of the column so the effective length equal to k into unsupported length of column right k into unsupported length so this k what will be the value of k this we need to find okay so when we are selecting the framing type as ductile okay in that case first of all what the software will do the software will perform a calculation as per is456 you can see here nxe so as per nxe what it will do it will find out this q which is nothing but the stability index all of you know okay so this now based on the calculated stability index if the value of stability index is less than less than 0. Point, less than or equal to 0. 0.04 so in that case what will happen in that case it will be considered as no sway condition okay if it is less than or equal to q then the column frame may be taken as no sway column and for no sway column the k factor which is the effective length factor okay it will be calculated as per the figure number 26 so from here you can see figure number 26 for no sway column from here this key values will be calculated obviously you have to calculate this beta 1 beta 2 so that is a different calculation which i have explained in detail in my uh, you can say in my course so now if your q value that is uh, calculated is less than or equal to 0 0.04 so it will be uh, taking the k value from this particular figure which is figure number 26 or if it is greater than 0 0.04 then it will the k factor will be calculated from this chart which is the figure number 27 for sway columns okay now here also one thing you have to keep in mind that i will take another model so uh, before before going to another model let me just right click on this column 
and let me go to the details and let me go to the flexural details so if you see here at the very top it is clearly written that the ets concrete frame design is 4562000 plus is 1392016 column section design fine so this is from here you can understand that these two codes are used for the design of this particular column and if i go down here you can see this effective length factors okay nxe so here both the k factors are calculated for both sway and no sway the framing type we have selected as ductile frame and the q factor calculated which is 0.024 for this particular structure so it is less than 0.04 so you can see here that the k used is nothing but the no sway condition for the no sway condition because it is less than 0.04 okay fine so this is we have performed the ductile design now i will take another condition i will take another condition okay so here also this frame is designed as a ductile uh, frame so if i just right click if i go to details here also you can see this frame is let me just zoom it a bit yeah this frame is designed as per is 456 and 139207016 and if you go down here effective length calculation let me go to the flexural details first yeah effective length calculation now here also you can see uh, as the usual the k sway k no sway framing type is ductile frame it is calculated but though the q value is zero here you can see here the q value is all zero so that that means it is less than 0 0.04 right but still the k used is 2.53 which is for the sway column which is for the sway condition okay now can you tell me why it is like that so let me tell you that when in your model there is no earthquake load defined in my this model if i go to define load patterns you can see there is no earthquake load defined even if i go to define load cases there is, there is also no earthquake load defined that means no response spectrum or something any earthquake load if it is not defined here then in that case by default ETABs will consider ETABs will consider k for sway when you are choosing ductile framing type okay when you are choosing ductile framing type and there is no eq load so it is the default okay so there will be no though the q is calculated but still still the software will not consider the k value as per the condition of q but directly it will take the k value for sway condition when there is no eq load defined remember ductile condition framing type no eq load defined k will be taken for sway condition but the earlier case where we have the earlier case where we have yes we have eq load defined if you go to load patterns you can see the earthquake loads are defined even the response vector is also defined here in the load cases you can see okay so any of these earthquake loads response vector or uh, static cases if these are defined in that case the q will be calculated and based on the q the k factor will be considered you can see the q is calculated okay and based on the q the k factor is considered actually in the previous case the q is not at all calculated okay when the earthquake load is not there q is not calculated and also the k factor is considered for the sway condition it's zero means it is not less than 0 0.04 it's like the q is not at all calculated okay but still the k is k is considered for the sway condition okay fine so these are the two conditions of ductile frame design now let us come to our ordinary condition okay let us come to our now this is uh, uh, let me see okay so now in ordinary condition also the same situation will be coming let me open another file which i have um, modeled 
so ordinary condition also same condition will be applied only the design codes will be changed so if i just go to ordinary yes fine let me just design it basically i have selected the framing type as ordinary already so how i have done it is the simple way just select all the frame items like this okay and you go to design concrete frame design our rights and you can see it is ordinary selected okay now if i design it so you can directly see that if i right click on any of the objects and go to details so now as i have selected ordinary frame so the design is performed only with is 456 2000 and the is 13920 design that here is not incorporated or not adopted here okay but but when we are talking about the k factor here it is the same it is the same the k factor will be considered as per the calculated q so whenever we are considering ordinary and we have eq load defined eq load defined so in my model i have eq load my earthquake load defined in that case q will be calculated which is the stability index and based on the q the k factor will be considered for your uh, calculation so you can see we have sway non sway both as my q is less than 0 0.04 so the no sway condition is considered but again the same condition again the same condition if i go to if i go to the ordinary without earthquake load so if i just right click on this and if i go to flexural detail it is the same is456 design but the k condition if you see here as i don't have any earthquake load defined but still i want to like i have i'm designing as ordinary that means as per is456 so here what will happen the q factor will not be calculated because earthquake loads are not defined so in that case etfs will consider the k factor directly for the sway condition same as ductile frame if eq loads are not defined if you select ductile or ordinary okay ductile or ordinary add eq loads not defined okay in that case k will be considered for sway condition only pardon my writing just understand the thing that uh, if eq loads are not defined there will be no q calculation but directly the k will be taken for the sway condition only it is both in case of ductile and ordinary the only difference in ductile and ordinary is here it will be is456 plus 13920 design criteria and here ordinary it will be only is456 design criteria fine okay now next thing the next option that i have is nothing but the non sway option so if i go to the model with no sway so here you can see i have selected this for no sway so if i just right click on this what will happen actually so i am now forcing the software to take the k factor for no sway condition so even though your q is calculated but the condition will be still taken for the no sway condition only okay so is456 design obviously and k factor if you see though here the q factor is less than 0 0.04 but it is not the actual case even if it is 0 point greater than 0 0.04 the k factor will be always considered for the no sway condition when we are selecting the framing type when we are selecting the framing type as non-sway okay fine so that means this is coming from actually the figure number 26 of is 456 okay so when you are selecting no sway as your framing type in that case even though the q is calculated and suppose the q is greater than suppose suppose q is greater than 0 0.04 still it will consider the k as 
the no sway condition because you have asked the software to take non sway condition okay fine so these are the three overrides that we have these are the three design overrides if you see here that we have in etfs so basically if i tell you the gist ductile okay ductile what will happen is 456 plus 13920 k is based on the q ordinary so k is based on the q when eq load is there okay otherwise it will be k sway if eq load is not there it will be k sway when we are taking ordinary it will be designing as per is456 k is based on the q when eq load is defined and otherwise it will take k sway and when i am selecting non sway design will be as per is456 and k will be taken for k sway condition sorry k no sway condition let me just correct it k no sway condition let me write it no eq so k here no eq k will be k sway directly considered fine so these are the three design overrides it is very important okay which is very important when you are uh, designing the uh, members you need to keep this in mind how it is performing the design actually okay so i hope all your doubts are cleared about this three uh, uh, design overrides if you have you still have any doubt or if you have any suggestion for the next quiz so please do let me know i will try to post that question and i'll try to give the answer in the next quiz answer session thank you and see you in the next session